CIET NCERT presents audio book of mathematics for class 8 let's listen to chapter 2 linear equations in one variable page number 32 2.6 reducing equations to simpler form example 16 Solve six x plus one by three plus one is equal to x minus three by six. Solution: Multiplying both sides of the equation by six. Six bracket open six x plus one bracket close divided by three plus six into one is equal to six bracket open x minus three bracket close divided by six. Why six? Because it is the smallest multiple or LCM of the given denominators. Or two bracket open six x plus one bracket close plus six is equal to x minus three. Or twelve x plus two plus six is equal to x minus three. Opening the brackets. Or Twelve x plus eight is equal to x minus three, or twelve x minus x plus eight is equal to minus three, or eleven x plus eight is equal to minus three, or eleven x is equal to minus three minus eight, or eleven x is equal to minus eleven, or x is equal to minus one. Required solution. Check. LHS is equal to six bracket open minus one bracket close plus one divided by three plus one is equal to minus six plus one by three plus one is equal to minus five by three plus three by three is equal to minus five plus three divided by three is equal to minus two by three. RHS is equal to Minus one minus three divided by six is equal to minus four by six is equal to minus two by three. LHS is equal to RHS as required. Example seventeen. Solve five x minus two bracket open two x minus seven bracket close is equal to two bracket open three x minus one bracket close. Plus seven by two. Solution. Let us open the brackets. LHS is equal to five x minus four x plus fourteen is equal to x plus fourteen. Page number thirty-three. RHS is equal to six x minus two plus seven by two is equal to six x minus four by two plus seven by two is equal to. Six x plus three by two. The equation is x plus fourteen is equal to six x plus three by two, or fourteen is equal to six x minus x plus three by two, or fourteen is equal to five x plus three by two, or fourteen minus three by two is equal to five x. Transposing three by two, or twenty-eight minus three by two. Is equal to five x, or twenty-five by two is equal to five x, or twenty-five by two into one by five is equal to five into five divided by two into five is equal to five by two. Therefore, required solution is x equal to five by two. Did you observe how we simplified the form of the given equation here? We had to multiply both sides of the equation by the LCM of the denominators of the terms in the expressions of the equation. Check. LHS is equal to five into five by two minus two bracket open five by two into two minus seven bracket close is equal to twenty five by two minus two. Bracket open five minus seven bracket close is equal to twenty five by two 
minus 2 minus 2 within brackets is equal to 25 by 2 plus 4 is equal to 25 plus 8 by 2 is equal to 33 by 2. RHS is equal to 2 multiplied by bracket open 5 by 2 into 3 minus 1 bracket close plus 7 by 2 is equal to 2 bracket open 15 by 2 minus 2 by 2 bracket close plus 7 by 2 is equal to 2 multiplied by 13 divided by 2 plus 7 by 2 is equal to 26 plus 7 by 2 is equal to 33 by 2 is equal to LHS as required. Note, in this example, we brought the equation to a simpler form by opening brackets and combining like term on both sides of the equation. Exercise 2.5 Solve the following linear equations. 1. x by 2 minus 1 by 5 is equal to x by 3 plus 1 by 4. 2. n by 2 minus 3n by 4 plus 5n by 6 is equal to 21. 3. x plus 7 minus 8x by 3 is equal to 17 by 6 minus 5x by 2. Page number 34. 4. x minus 5 by 3 is equal to x minus 3 by 5. 5. 3t minus 2 by 4 minus 2t plus 3 divided by 3 is equal to 2 by 3 minus t. 6. m minus m minus 1 by 2 is equal to 1 minus m minus 2 by 3. Simplify and solve the following linear equations. 7. 3. Bracket open t minus 3 bracket close is equal to 5 bracket open 2t plus 1 bracket close 8 15 bracket open y minus 4 bracket close minus 2 bracket open y minus 9 bracket close plus 5 bracket open y plus 6 bracket close is equal to 0 9 3 bracket open 5z minus 7, bracket close, minus 2, bracket open, 9z minus 11, bracket close, is equal to, 4, bracket open, 8z minus 13, bracket close, minus 17, 10, 0 0.25, bracket open, 4f minus 3, bracket close, is equal to, 0 0.05, bracket open, 10f minus 9, bracket close. 2.7, equations reducible to the linear form. Example 18. Solve x plus 1 divided by 2x plus 3 is equal to 3 by 8. Solution. Observe that the equation is not a linear equation, since the expression on its LHS is not linear but we can put it into the form of a linear equation. We multiply both sides of the equation by bracket open 2x plus 3 bracket close. Bracket open x plus 1 divided by 2x plus 3 bracket close into 2x plus 3 within brackets is equal to 3 by 8 into 2x plus 3 within brackets. Note that 2x plus 3 is not equal to 0. Why? Notice that 2x plus 3 within brackets gets cancelled on the LHS. We have then x plus 1 is equal to 3, 2x plus 3 within brackets divided by 8. We have now a linear equation which we know how to solve. Multiplying both sides by 8, 8 x plus 1 within brackets is equal to 3, 2x plus 3 within brackets. This step can be directly obtained by cross multiplication. x plus 1 divided by 2x plus 3, 
थ्री बाय एट देर इज एन एरो दैट पॉइंट एट टूवर्ड्स एक्स प्लस वन एंड एन एरो दैट पॉइंट टू एक्स प्लस थ्री टूवर्ड्स थ्री एट एक्स प्लस एट इज इक्वल टू सिक्स एक्स प्लस नाइन और एट एक्स इज इक्वल टू सिक्स एक्स प्लस नाइन माइनस एट और एट एक्स इज इक्वल टू सिक्स एक्स प्लस वन और एट एक्स माइनस सिक्स एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन और टू एक्स इज इक्वल टू वन और x इज इक्वल टू वन बाय टू द सोल्यूशन इज x इज इक्वल टू वन बाय टू चेक न्यूमिरेटर ऑफ एल एच एस इज इक्वल टू वन बाय टू प्लस वन इज इक्वल टू वन प्लस टू बाय टू इज इक्वल टू थ्री बाय टू डिनोमिनेटर ऑफ एल एच एस इज इक्वल टू टू एक्स प्लस थ्री इज इक्वल टू टू इन टू वन बाय टू प्लस थ्री इज इक्वल टू वन प्लस थ्री is equal to 4 page number 35 lhs is equal to numerator divided by denominator is equal to 3 by 2 divided by 4 is equal to 3 by 2 into 1 by 4 is equal to 3 by 8 lhs is equal to rhs example 19 present ages of anu and raj are in the ratio of 4 is to 5 Eight years from now, the ratio of their ages will be five is to six. Find their present ages. Solution: Let the present ages of Anu and Raj be four x years and five x years respectively. After eight years, Anu's age is equal to four x plus eight within brackets years. After eight years, Raj's age is equal to five x plus eight within bracket years. Therefore, the ratio of their ages after eight years is equal to four x plus eight divided by five x plus eight. This is given to be five is to six. Therefore, four x plus eight divided by five x plus eight is equal to five by six. Cross multiplication gives six four x plus eight within brackets is equal to five five x plus eight within brackets or Twenty four x plus forty eight is equal to twenty five x plus forty, or twenty four x plus forty eight minus forty is equal to twenty five x, or twenty four x plus eight is equal to twenty five x, or eight is equal to twenty five x minus twenty four x, or eight is equal to x. Therefore, Anu's present age is equal to four x. Is equal to four into eight is equal to thirty-two years. Raj's present age is equal to five x is equal to five into eight is equal to forty years. Exercise two point six. Solve the following equations: one, eight x minus three divided by three x is equal to two. Two, nine x divided by seven minus six x is equal to fifteen. Three, z divided by z plus fifteen is equal to four by nine. Four, three y plus four divided by two minus six y is equal to minus two by five. Five seven y plus four divided by y plus two is equal to minus four by three. Six, the ages of Hari and Harry are in the ratio of five is to seven. Four years from now. The ratio of their ages will be three is to four. Find their present ages. Seven. The denominator of a rational number is greater than its numerator by eight. If the numerator is increased by seventeen and the denominator is decreased by one, the number obtained is three by two. Find the rational number. Page number thirty-six. What have we discussed? One an algebraic equation is an equality involving variables. It says that the value of the expression on one side of the equality sign is equal to the value of the expression on the other side. Two, the equations we study in classes six, seven, and eight are linear equations in one variable. In such equations, the expressions which form the equation. Contain only one variable. Further, 
the equations are linear that is the highest power of the variable appearing in the equation is 1 3 a linear equation may have for its solution any rational number 4 an equation may have linear expressions on both sides equations that we studied in class 6 and 7 had just a number on one side of the equation. 5. Just as numbers, variables can also be transposed from one side of the equation to the other. 6. Occasionally, the expressions forming equations have to be simplified before we can solve them by usual methods. Some equations may not even be linear to begin with, but they can be brought to a linear form by multiplying both sides of the equation by a suitable expression. 7. The utility of linear equations is in their diverse applications. Different problems on numbers, ages, perimeters, combinations of currency notes and so on can be solved using linear equations. Here, we have an image of few children studying in a class. You were just listening to the audiobook Mathematics for Class 8. Program Coordinator Dr. Rajesh Kumar Nimesh Narrator Akash Ahuja Technical Coordinator Batilang Lingdo Sound Recordist Mayank Kumar Assistance in Production Somya Malik Directed and Produced by Vimlesh Chaudhary Presented to you by CIET NCERT New Delhi, India